Hey everyone, welcome. In this series of videos, we are working on uh, AZ104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Lab series that are available on the GitHub. We started working on <coughs> Lab04, implement virtual networking, <coughs> and there are several different tasks since the task itself is pretty long. We are doing one video per, per task, so I've already created one video where we created the virtual network. Then on the next video, we deployed two virtual machines. In the third video, we configured static private address and we also configured the public IP address for those VMs. In the fourth video, we configured the network security groups allowed port 3389 to 3389 so that we can connect RDP sessions uh, to those virtual machines. In the last video, we have created a private DNS zone and we configured internal name resolution and we created as contosu.org and we assigned the private uh, DNS zone and we enabled the auto discover feature for our virtual network. In this video, this is the last stack in this particular lab section. We're going to finish it up and we're going to configure the Azure DNS for external name resolution. So let's go to that section of the task. So configure as your DNS. So what we need to do, we need to open in the browser in a new tab and navigate to GoDaddy. And we're just gonna find any domain that's not in use. So configure uh, DNS for private or for public, public resolution dot com. Okay. So that's what I want to use. Let's see if it's uh, in use or not. So it's available. So let's go and use that one. So copy this. Come back over here. Use the domain name search to identify domain name which is not in use. We have done that. In the Azure portal, search for search for and select DNS zone. So let's go to our Azure instance. <laughs> So previously we were working with the private DNS and this time we're going to work with uh, DNS zone, DNS zones. So DNS zones has come up. We selected that one. We click on add and let's give it a minute to come up the window where you're going to input some stuff. So create a DNS zone. Uh, that's the name that's still available so I'm going to use that name and the resource group is most likely the same uh, 10404 RG1 so 10404 RG1 that's the resource group that we're going to use that's where we also have our private DNS zones and our virtual network everything else okay and we can now hit review and create and if the validation passes we're going to create and create and I'm just going to give it a minute or two for this deployment to be done, uh, it says the deployment is underway and deployment is successful. So once that done, it says it's it should take about uh, two minutes, but I we sure that it's already done. So now we go to the resource blade. So go to the resource. So we can click right there on the DNS blade. Click record set. So here we're gonna add some DNS records in our DNS zone. So here by default I see that I have uh, one NS record and one SOA statement of authority record that are that are already attached with my DNS zone uh, that we have configured for the config that particular you know uh, domain name. So we're gonna add a record set so plus record set that's what we need to do and for name, this is the name of our first virtual machine, AZ10404 VM0, and it's a type A record, so type A record is already selected. LIS record set, LIS record set, set to no. Time to leave is one, that's one is good. TTL unit is hours, so it's gonna leave for one hour. Uh, IP address, the public IP address of this that we have identified so let's go to vm0 we already identified this is my public ip address so i'm going to copy this one 
and I'm gonna put that one. So what? So what I'm really doing? Uh, I'm manually adding this entry so that if this uh, uh, this will be publicly resolved. Okay. So now you can from any computer in the world you can go to this uh, az104-04 vm0 dot configure DNS for public resolution dot com and you should be able to connect to this particular virtual machine and I'm just gonna say okay so that should have added this virtual machine record over here it's a a record let's go back to our lab and we're gonna add the same thing for the other VM uh oh for the other VM so we're gonna add another record set over here and in this one this is gonna be the name of the virtual machine everything else is good we still need to find the public IP address for VM1 is this so let's get that one and put it over here and hit OK so now I have two A records they're added to this uh, DNS zone okay so let's go back to our uh, on the DNS zone note the name of the name server one entry okay on the name DN name server one entry so just review that one and so these are all the name servers that are available to us okay, let's, but there you cannot change any of that NS1, NS2, NS3 they're all just uh, you cannot just edit any of that or right, in the Azure portal uh, open PowerShell session in the cloud shell so go back uh, open the PowerShell session in the cloud shell so it's gonna open up this window and I'm just gonna wait for a second it usually opens up very very quickly if it's not opening I'm just gonna refresh this uh, say leave page and I'm gonna click on this button one more time and yeah this time it's opening up I think yeah it's there uh, what is it asking us to do from the cloud cell pane run the following test external name resolution for uh, this DNS record set in the newly created DNS zone uh, so what we need to do is replace the placeholder for name server 1 including the brackets with the name server 1 this is uh, not clear to me so give me one second Okay, I think I understand what they're trying to say. They're trying to in this look up this VM with the DM name, and we are providing which name server to use. So that's why probably in the previous step they said uh, note the name of the NIS name server one entry. So let's do that. Let's go back. Um, so this is the name server one. So let's copy this one, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in here. Um, right there this is my name server one uh, and uh, what I'll do um, so the way everything is working is we are using this as our domain name um, so copy that one as well copy and so the, for the first VM the VM name should be this dot this and for the other VM our name should be like this VM1 okay so now I have the name server one and everything is ready so let's go back to the lab and see what it's asking so from a power cell we're gonna run this command so let's copy this one and write it properly in our notepad so we wanna do this so in VM0 so we'll do uh, we'll do this one. We'll pick up. Uh, we'll pick up this portion. Copy. We'll put it over here. So that's our VM zero. And let's get uh, in this record one. So let's put it over here and get that one as well. So once I have this, uh, what I can do? I can go back to this and. Uh, just get rid of this command that and put it the properly formatted command right in here 
and hit enter and there we go now it says that this name is resolving to this particular address so we have properly verified that output of the command includes the public IP address of the so this is the public IP address so this name is now resolving to this particular pu public IP address and we have verified in this exercise all right, so let's see where we are uh, from the cloud cell run the following command. So for the other one, yeah, for the other uh, uh, other IP, other VM, you can also do the same thing. So instead of VM1, I can do uh, 0, I can do VM1. And right there is that IP address. To, so to prove that I can now use this uh, DNS name or the name resolution and it's available publicly let's go to our RAM near and instead of using these IP addresses what I'm, I want to do I want to use one of these full name resolution right here so that is going to be my ultimate test whether I'm going to be able to connect it or not so this is my local computer it is not even in any cloud so if I click on that one but in here unfortunately I cannot connect to this one just yet um, so that one I was expecting that I would be but looks like this one did not would didn't allow me to connect so let's try this one one more time and just make sure uh, why it's not it's uh, I would expect that if you're uh, this is also not able to connect so it seems like you have the name resolution is now registered it may take a little bit of time for the name, name register registration to go through okay so this uh, the services are available so what I would suggest if you're at this point you cannot connect directly give it a little bit of more time and uh, you should be able to use your uh, name servers your domain name that you have uh, to be able to connect to those virtual machines uh, directly from here uh, it's yeah it's still not resolving but as far as the lab and what uh, we needed to do for the lab uh, we have already completed we have verified the output of the commands uh, from the DNS zone that we have configured within the Azure environment and we have verified that uh, everything is resolving properly now unfortunately for this lab I'm not going to wait too long we have created so many resources and I would like to go through this cleanup process so let me make sure if any of the resources are going to be used in any other labs um, or so in the cloud cell list any resources that we have created for this one so let's do that one I don't think it's going to be used this this was the last uh, section of this lab so what I just did uh, get easy resource groups and uh, look for any resource group that, that started with AZ1401 star looks like there is only one resource group so everything is part of one group and if I want to delete this I I'm just need to run this command so that it will get all of the resource and then remove everything so I'm gonna need to do that to be able to delete everything uh, before I do that, I'm just going to pause the video for a couple seconds, a couple minutes, and I'll be back. Hello and welcome back. Before I end the video, I wanted to just try one more thing to see if the DNS <coughs> zone is available for a name resolution from your own public IP address. So what I try to do, I try to install a, a virtual machine, <coughs> I mean IIS server, <coughs> in one of those. This is the VM0. <coughs> but even after installing the virtual machine on uh, IS server I could not connect to this um, machine <coughs> using the uh, DNS name so either the Microsoft DNS name that we have registered it's not going anywhere I'm not that one I should not have been using let me try one more thing so I have installed a public IIS server in this machine and before I delete all the resource group I just want to make sure that uh, if I can go to that one or not yeah I cannot <clears throat> so either it's taking long or you may have to actually purchase this particular domain name and and configure everything properly to able to this one that is really not I'm not sure about that one 
but everything in this lab is done so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run the command to delete the resource because we're gonna start doing some resource intensive work and uh, and so we have to clean up some resource or we may reach the quota limit for deploying other resources that we need to need to do the other labs so just to recap <coughs> In this uh, in this particular lab, we have configured uh, we have configured the public DNS for our two virtual machines, and we went to the uh, GoDaddy. We figured uh, a DNS that was not used. We used a DNS zone, not a private DNS zone. This one created the DNS zone in that resource group, and then we added two A records for VM 0 and VM 1 and then we have verified those records or resolutions are available when we do when we did the NS lookup using the name server 1 okay so that's the end of the video in the next video we are actually going to start a new setup labs and if you missed the previous setup labs please watch the previous videos that are all part of the playlist that I have created if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, <clears throat> subscribe and share with your friends. And again, good luck with the exam. Thank you.